we've been walking for about an hour those big lights over there where we came from we woke up at 10 to 4 10 to 5 exactly and we got out of the house at half past 5 and we buy the plot nice Alrighty guys, now we're here at the beach at the plot. Got our lines in. Alrighty guys, now today we're at the plot chase by and we are doing a sand shark catch and cook with adventures with Thomas. So hopefully we can catch a sand shark that we can cook up for you guys. Um I need to bait up my rod, which I'll show you now. But here's the setup. But the 14 foot Franklin Loomer's shockwave, um, four to six ounce uh, uh, lure weight, and a Big Boss 8000, which I use for small rays and sand sharks. So, hopefully, we can get an amazing sand shark that we can catch and cook for you guys. I'll see you then. Guys, I want to introduce a special guest to you, Adventures with Tormas. Hello. Um, so we will see you with a sand shark very soon. Peter. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, guys, we've got one. We've got a sandy. Um, so this one is bleeding already, so we're gonna cook it up. Nice. So guys, I've decided to whip out a smaller rod um, and reel uh, and koi for sandies with a smaller hook and a little bit of soddy. <sighs> Cotton. And let's wrap it. Get the other pieces all. I often wrap my, uh, put my um, sardine in sand because the sand blocks all the oils and juices from coming out, and it just disperses the flavor in the water is quite good so that's a, just a very simple nice little pilchard bait that I'm gonna chuck out now for you guys okay so new rod and reel coming out sorry about that a Franklin Loomers with a Shimano neck save 11 foot and 6,000 model Try to catch some small sandies. Let's do this thing. So he's got our savaging away. He's got our first sandy getting cut. I'm so excited for this, guys. <laughs> Honestly, it looks quite good. Nice and white meat. And I just threw my um, lighter rod in. Um, Shimano neck save round of a hill with um, 9 kg nylon and a 11 foot Franklin Loomis rod. Now we just wait, I guess. Great. So, guys, some good news is that we've just recently ordered the newest pen slammer 8500 reel um big shark reel very strong ipx6 rated so bearings are sealed so you'll well in future you'll see thomas and i going for massive raggies and now thomas has just been done with the um sandy he's been filleting so and he got some nice so beautiful fillets. how it looks it's just two skinny long things 
on the back it looks red. So it looks like snake fillets, pretty much. Well, hopefully those are tasty on the on the pan tonight. Um, and with that um, pen slammer is going to go a Akuma Makaira 14 foot 6. Uh, 6 to 9 ounce rated. So, um, <laughs> Thomas is making me laugh. Um, so yeah, so you in future you'll see us going for massive duck bill and black paley and all those juicy fish. And obviously the biggest of all, the puffer fish. They like you need bluefin tuna rods for those. Thomas talking is um Thomas talking Rocks nonsense as always. as always. Yeah, so um we've our my pen slammer is lying at home, um which hopefully it's uh, it's lying at home um, in its own bed, and <laughs> and soon the Kumamakaira will also get its own bed, and soon it'll also get its own rod stand, and soon it'll get a name, and I think you guys should email me the name if you really want to name the the pen slammer and the akuma makaira set up um, email me at fishforlife2205 at gmail.com and I'll get back to you straight away guarantee uh, I think yeah <laughs> um, so hopefully we catch big raggies and duck bull and swat bailey uh, so nice see you guys when we have another sandy Guys, we're on our way back. On this mug, bro. No, we're tired. Had a long day. Like 13 hours. We've been up since half past four. Um, we're on our way back to have some nice sandy. <laughs> um, yeah, and some nice dinner. So, we'll see you then for the catch and cook. So what happened was actually kind of funny. We started the fire, ready for our sand shark, and then the dogs ate the sand shark. This made us sad. Extremely sad.